Lions, if you're out there watching this, uh, talking yesterday to Julie Omnid at the, at the manor, and she coordinates all the activities there uh, for the residents. And she, we had, I've been doing some, through her and through Evan, I've been doing some talking to the residents there because I've been going for years and years for to visit with them, play bocce curling, uh, compliments of the Lions Club, obviously. Uh, and we have a social hour after that and, and chat. It's great. I have a lot of fun reminiscing, talking about good old days. I've even started playing guitar and I play a few songs for them once in a while. Anyway, we've been doing that and Julie, had, I had recorded something and I sent it to Julie to, to, and she was going to do it uh, this evening actually at the manor for the for the seniors because they gather around in the cafeteria but they weren't able to do that. Julie told me, said there was some kind of new bolt or something came out to, to the manor that they can't uh, have groups of, I don't know, more than three or four together or if that. And so they've had to eliminate the some of the activities, obviously, uh, bocce and the curling was part of that, and made it complicated for dining, you know, together too. They have to eat, a lot of them have to eat in their rooms. Made me think, and I was talking to Julie about it when she mentioned it, I said, why don't we try to keep the video sessions going or maybe extend them a wee bit to make it, you know, give them something to do and communicate with, keep communicating. Everybody wants to communicate with their, their parents and their, their you know, their uncles or whatever, uh, you know, while they're in, in, you know, we can't go visit them. We're restricted from that with this COVID-19 going on 40, I think it is now. I don't even know how long we've been kept indoors. But anyway, I suggested maybe we could, you know, do videos, maybe personalize them to their rooms sort of thing. And, and but, but the one problem that's, came out with that conversation was that they don't have the equipment. Uh, Julie has one that she uses and the doctors use it and I think it's a little bit unnerving to her that the doctors are using it after coming from the hospital and exposing her, I suppose, using her iPad in, in the manner when they come in to visit the, or see the seniors. Um, so I think they've got a problem and, and, and she said they do have a problem with lack of equipment to, to do that type of a thing. So that's why I'm reaching out to the Lions Club that's why I'm doing this presentation via Evan um, to you to ask for funding. Perhaps I'm thinking if we could buy some for the manor, for the seniors, so that they could have personal computers, the ones that can communicate, uh, that would be you know useful for. There's quite a few, and I think they would enjoy. It. I think they would it would you know make my life a little bit more comfortable for them. Whether they're going through such a lonely, hard time right now. I feel so sorry for them and people are coming to the windows and chatting through the windows. I was talking to Delroy Prescott the other day and he goes in to see his father Don. Everybody knows Don and he has to talk to him through the cafeteria window. They wave and uh, Julie lets Don use her cell phone, whatever it is, iPad. And Delroy has his phone outside and they communicate because Don has a hearing aid. So I guess they make it work. And that's the type of thing that I'm suggesting we could maybe promote and I certainly would put together videos and perhaps Evan can show you an example of what I would probably do with them trying to communicate with them and, and entertain them virtually from my home here in Kagawa or or even take the tablet out and let them see some of the things that they they would do if, you know get them outdoors virtually which is better than nothing anyway so I'm looking for it. Evan's going to put together a, a quote on something, an estimate on, on, on something that's fairly reasonable to, to purchase that would re really help them. And I'm hoping that we can make this happen through the Lions. I, you know, uh, by the way, I, I feel so bad with the Lions. I'm sure it's curtailed a lot of the activities that you, you've been planning and, and hope to do. You do such a great job all your weekends, fundraising and all your fundraising activities. And, uh, you know, you really support the community and kudos to you all. Uh, certainly, I've enjoyed my years with the Lions Club. I really did. And great memories, great memories. And I know you have fun. Good, lively group. I think Bruce, maybe Laurie. I, I don't know who all is with the Lions, but I think there's only the 
maybe the two that were there that I was when I was there. I'm not sure who I was with. You know, it's a younger crowd, I'm sure, but but I hope you're having just as even a tenth of the time fun that we used to have. And that was work, but you know what? It pays off, and it all comes back uh, back to the community. Anyway, my request, you'll see it. I'm hoping we can do one, maybe two. Uh, maybe if we can talk Maryland and I'll do some fundraising around here, maybe we'll pitch in and get, get one for them as well. Um, maybe I'll put it, go to the expositor and see if we can maybe do a fundraiser toward the manors. It wouldn't even hurt if we could branch out to the other seniors' homes on the island. I'm sure they could use this type of thing and probably worldwide these days. Anyway, once again, I appreciate it. If we can do anything, maybe get them one, two, whatever you're you're able to do. I don't know what your funding is now, uh, situation is, but appreciate it if you could help out and uh, let's be good lions, let's be good Canadians, let's just be good people. Thank you.